And this scene is a fire investigation scene at this point, as you can see. And certainly it is a tragedy and nobody knows that as well as someone who survived it. We hear from her now. He was a sweet loving kid, very sweet loving kid. And he did not deserve to go out the way he did. Shakima Foy is talking about her next door neighbors, the Richards family, and their 21 year old son, Carlos. He perished in the fire that also took the life of firefighter Timothy Klein. It broke out around 2 p.m. on Sunday in one half of a duplex. In the other half lives the Foy family. Got my children, my niece, my brother, we all left. We had no clothes on, no shoes on our feet. No clothes, no coat, no nothing. Today, inside her house, fire marshals still work the scene, trying to find the cause of what became a three alarm blaze. I, I, I can't even tell you how my heart is aching. All day, firefighters from various station houses kept coming by to pay respects to their lost brother. Details were released Tuesday that the funeral for firefighter Timothy Klein will be on Friday at his home parish of St. Francis de Sales Church in Bell Harbor, Queens. After a wake Thursday at McManus Funeral Home in Flatlands, Brooklyn. Meanwhile, the entire neighborhood, it's, it's, we are devastated. The whole community mourns for both the firefighter and their neighbor. Carlos Richards' family set up a GoFundMe page to help raise funds for the funeral for the young man who neighbors say had autism. The local council member met with one of the victim's relatives. Seeing people crying, there's nothing you can do. We just have to pray for the best and support. Some residents say that recent work on a flood prevention project may have lowered or even cut off water to some local fire hydrants. I, I believe it wasn't working. They were like running from one place to the next to get uh, access to the water. The people who lived on the other side of the wall from where a firefighter and a young man died say they need help and they await the results of a full investigation. It is it's a sad, tragic occasion. It's very sad. Now we asked the FDNY about that fire hydrant situation. The department said that every aspect of this situation remains under investigation. Reporting live from Canarsie, Brooklyn, I'm James Ford, PIX11 News.